Hello, my name is Martin Maikud and this is our first ever Conductor's Corner and a beautiful corner it is. Uh, I want to tell you a few words about the first concert series of the 1617 season of the Rock Valley Symphony. Uh, we're going to be visiting the Northeast Europe. Um, the concert starts with a um, modern piece, the 20th century piece by a Finnish composer Rautavara. Uh, the piece is called Anna Diomene and it's based on a Greek myth. Um, it's, a, it's a piece that just when I've heard it um, I was really uh, taken by, by the very unusual uh, sonorities and uh, so, so the, the sonic world is very um, unusual, very um, stark and suspenseful um, and uh, at the same time that music is contained in a, in a fairly traditional format which I believe will make it uh, 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 easy to follow for, for um, everyone in the audience. So that's our adventurous opener. Uh, the uh, centerpiece of the program is Tchaikovsky's Violin Concerto. Um, why did I program that? Well, why wouldn't I program that on every concert? It's one of the most beautiful concertos ever written. Um, the violin is, um, uh, a, you know, a shining uh, presence. Uh, it's it's very virtuosic uh, and yet so beautifully written and full of uh, uh, beautiful melodies. Um, one of the advantages of my position is that I can choose whom I want to work with as a soloist. Um, and uh, I've been following Jennifer Frouchy uh, for years and I respect her tremendously. She's, uh, she's one of the top-notch uh, violin players in the world. And so I am thrilled that um, a star of her uh, magnitude is coming here to play with us this beautiful concerto. In the second half of the program, uh, you will hear Shostakovich's Symphony No. 9, uh, which is uh, Shostakovich at his uh, wittiest and uh, funniest um, and merriest. Uh, it created quite a uh, controversy uh, when it was uh, introduced in 1945. The Soviet authorities expected a piece uh, on, a, on a scale and in, in the ethos of Beethoven's number nine, uh, you know, it's the end of the Second World War, and instead Shostakovich delivered this Haydn-esque piece that is very, um, um, you know, g uh, very well humored, but also there is a lot of sarcasm and satire uh, under the surface. Um, it uh, features lots of solos, uh, and in particular what you want to look for is a tremendously virtuosic writing for piccolo out of all instruments in the first movement. <laughs> 